Hey everybody, my name is Miranda and you are watching The New Improved. Um, I would just like to say I'm sorry, I am a little bit sick, so I'm going to sound nasally and and sick. So just put up with that. I'm sorry. I am trying a different form of lighting, so tell me how you like it in the comments section or wherever you want. I was planning on making a video talking about music snobs, however, in light of recent events, I would like to talk about transgendered youths and um, transgender suicides, teen suicides to be more specific. If you haven't heard already, this wonderful, beautiful, strong, transgendered girl, Layla Alcorn, committed suicide just a couple days ago, Sunday, December 28th, 2014. And uh, in her suicide note, which she left on Tumblr, and I will put the link in the description, uh, she wrote down that at the age of 14 she figured out what transgender was and she was incredibly happy because what her what she had been feeling had been verified and I don't know if any of you know but when you're incredibly confused on something and you feel like you're the only one and you finally have like proof and evidence that this what you're going through isn't you're not crazy it's like such an incredible feeling and when she told her parents about it they didn't react too kindly to the news and they reacted negatively is the word she used in her suicide note um, she goes into greater detail and I'm not going to uh, read you the entire note uh, you can read that for yourself but it's it's incredibly strong um, However, she does mention that her parents are Christian, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. You're going to hear from a lot of Christians, you're going to hear from a lot of Catholics, a lot of people who claim to have religion in their lives, they're going to say something like, oh well, not all Christians are like that. And that is definitely the truth. And I am a Catholic myself. I've been raised Catholic, my mom's Catholic, Hey, my mom's a lesbian and she's Catholic. Obviously, not all Christians are like that. However, both me and my mom were discussing this and we were discussing how it's, it really sucks and how most, I don't even want to say most, I, a lot of Christians are Christian and Catholics, different Christian denominations are changing their views on it, and I'm not saying, I'm definitely not saying that all Christians are like this, but there are a lot of Christians who do have this hatred and dislike, for lack of a better word, towards the LGBTQIA community, and I don't understand it. I really don't, because I was raised to believe even in my year even in my years of catholic schooling i was raised to believe by by teachers who didn't know that i was that my parents were um lesbians they taught me that jesus loves all his children i don't know i wasn't raised to believe that jesus was this harsh monster that hated his children. I was raised to believe that Jesus loves all his children and he accepts them for who they are. And that's not what I'm hearing from a lot of Catholics or from a lot of Christians. And it's stupid because I don't know when this started. <laughs> I mean, in kindergarten, I don't know, the majority of kindergartens that I know, they always taught the golden rule, which is treat others the way you wanted to be treated. And hey, what happened to that? That's like the golden rule. That's super important. And yet, 
The people who go to church every Sunday, the people who claim to have God in their lives and Jesus in their hearts, are acting horribly. They're not acting like Jesus. They're not treating others like Jesus. They're not following the golden rule. If you do believe in God, he created us with, um, with free will. And free will means that we get to choose whatever happens, whatever happens to us. The famine, the wars, the hatred going on in this, on this earth. It's not happening because God wants it to happen. It's not happening because God made it happen. It's, be it's happening because we made it happen. We are hating each other. And yet somehow we have religion here supposed to guide us and help us towards becoming better people. And yet the people who claim to have religion and claim to have Jesus on their side are the biggest hypocrites of all. It's it's like, um, excuse me, but fuck you. That is just utter bullshit. I have gone to church and I have heard homophobic priests. Hey, there was a Jesuit priest that married my parents. And I believe he was gay himself. But maybe, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So there are good people on this earth, but it just seems like not enough of them are... out there. It's definitely not fair. In this world we live in is a very horrible and shitty place and I don't understand why we have to make it incredibly harder for each other to live. I don't understand why we can't just help each other. This place is hard enough to live in as it is with hurricanes and natural disasters and shit like that. And what's incredibly horrible about this entire situation and what makes me deeply deeply feel for Layla and I really wish I would have been there for her I don't even know her and I wish I would have I would have been her friend or something you know is that your parents are supposed to be there for you and some people they could just be like okay you know what I don't need my parents they're sexist, they're racist, they're homophobic, they're against everything I am, and you know what? I don't need them in my lives. And hey, good for you, those of you who can say that to your parents, who can walk away. But in a way, that's sad too. Because your parents are supposed to be there. They're the first ones that see you. They're supposed to be the first ones that love you. And when they hate everything you are, At such an early age, too, how does that mold the child's understanding of the world? All they've known is hatred towards who they are, so what makes them think that if their own parents can't love them, who else is going to love me for who I am? There are a lot of fucked up people in this world, and yes, sometimes they're your family. And that doesn't change anything. Your family can be incredibly emotionally abusive to you, like her parents were towards her, or they can be physically abusive. They can be psychologically abusive. They can be horrible people, your family. They definitely can. Just because they're your family doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. And you could be blessed with family that actually really loves you. And would never do that and accepts you for who you are. But sometimes the best family is the family you choose. And there's someone out there for everybody. And someone will always be out there to accept you. And I just, I want to think about it and I want to cry for her. Because it's like, she really felt like there was no one out there for her. Her mother said to her, you will never be a good enough girl. And how horrible is that? Some shitty, fucked up shit. I'm just rambling on with bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. I'm not even upset. I'm just sad. 
I wish I can go up to her and I just hug her and just be like, it's okay, it's okay. And to all of you who are going through her situation or who are going through something similar, I wish I could hug you and just be like, it's okay, it's okay. So just pretend I'm hugging you. It's never too late. It never is. It's never too late to start your transitioning towards the opposite sex. It's never too late. And it's never too late to find someone who loves you. And you're never gonna be alone. There's always, always, always gonna be someone out there who wants to love someone like you. And sometimes that might be your best friend. And sometimes it takes years to find a best friend like that. But you gotta keep looking. How horrible would it be if you, if you stopped looking right before you found them? Oh wow, <laughs> I might cry now. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm really hot because this light is shining down on my head. Okay. This one's for you, Layla. Oh, I hope you're happy. And I bet you're very beautiful. Up there in heaven. Or wherever. I will be... I will be leaving different links in the description, including transgender hotlines and also suicide hotlines. For any of you who need to talk about anything, for those of you who just need a friend or just to vent about anything, please feel free to email me and please feel free to message me, uh, send me an inbox on Tumblr, talk to me on Facebook, you know how to get a hold of me. And I am always willing to help someone to the best of my ability. I am I am very sorry for what happened. And I wish things would have turned out differently, but sometimes things don't. Hopefully things will change after this. See you next time. Hopefully with a more uplifting video. Bye. I don't know, man. It's definitely not... <coughs> oh crap, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm not sick.